Not even two months later, we already have a trailer for the Swordsmith arc. And it's three minutes long. So it's honestly pretty safe to say they were working on this probably before season two even released. Cause this is way too quick if you ask me. But let's be honest, Demon Slayer does print money. With that said, let's get into it. Everything that's brought him up to this point, huh? This is really cool. The film of memories. Okay, maybe this isn't the whole animation of season three then. They're showing the Mugen Train arc and a bunch of other things. I thought it was gonna be 100% Swordsmith. Now this makes more sense as to why it's three minutes long. Such a good fucking arc. Yutaro, by the way, is still my favorite upper rank. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God. So bright. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm reliving all of these moments right now. Like, wow, that was amazing. So what next? That's cool. Ah, one side is Muichiro and the other side is... I can't remember her name. Mitsuri. Somebody stealing a sword or creating a sword. That's cool. The next mission location is... Is that a black Mitsuri? That was a black sword. I wonder if it's Muichiro's. Oh no, that's a black sword. Okay, never mind. Wait, no, that's it. Pay attention. Is that it? Okay, I was wrong. They used about a third of the time to show what we have already seen in the past. But even with this little information, I am excited. And that is because we get to see Muichiro. Now, naturally, seeing guys as Demon Slayer, the animation is going to be amazing and all of that. I would always be looking forward to it. But even more so specifically because I remember an episode of the Entertainment District arc where Tengen Uzui specifically said, this world is teeming with talent. Some are just straight up abnormalities, which I believe he was talking about Gyome. And that makes sense. Dude is huge. Probably the strongest Hashira there. If I just had to guess by just build and then Uzui said some can pick up a sword in two months and just become a Hashira that sounds like Muichiro and if I'm being honest he looks younger than everybody else so for him to be that ridiculous I would imagine it's because of more so his abilities and not just pure strength like I have noticed in Demon Slayer there's a lot of uh back and forth in terms of attributes Uzui is incredibly fast but he's also very strong maybe not as strong as Gilmei but I feel like he's up there Shinobu seems incredibly fast but she doesn't have the strength to cut off a demon's head but she can kill them in other ways so I say all that to say if Muichiro is as crazy as they're making it seem it's probably more so because of his breathing technique rather than just being purely strong and fast this is a shot in the dark but I I could imagine this just from collecting all the data from the other Hashiras that we have seen. But I wonder why he specifically as crazy as, like, like he must come from a long line of crazy swordsmen or previous Hashiras. That's only way I can really make sense out of it. But regardless, even though we didn't get much in this trailer, it's exciting enough to know that they've already been working on it and could possibly have a release date. Look forward to seeing the next Demon Slayer. Honestly, it's just a plus if this character survives just like Uzui, because we know how they like to do Hashiras. Uzui is the only one to make it out. And I guess Giyu and Shinobu. Whatever. I'm out.